Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final game of week number four here in the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League's Dungeon Bowl. Clapheus and Berserking Tempest. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Boy, we got a good one, man. We we said week three was pivotal, and it was. Tonight, we, we've got Take the Wood, Take the Bad versus Nurgle Burgle Boys, Evita 2 versus Nick Satan. What else? That's my team versus Nurgle. Let's take a look at these standings first, because it is exciting stuff. This is the final game of the week. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is epic indeed. Thank you for the bits. Final game of the week here. Final game in Division A. Look at these, look at these teams. Womb Guardians eliminated from the competition, but El Nuberino has qualified for the Blood Bowl. Nurgle Burgle Boys eliminated from this Dungeon Bowl, but Nick Satan has qualified for the Blood Bowl. That leaves four teams remaining. A minor matter has secured their spot in the semifinals of the Dungeon Bowl. They're guaranteed to make it. That leaves Jingles all the way, Tainted Cocktails, Take the Wood, Take the Bad. And you know what's gonna happen tonight? One of these teams is getting eliminated tonight. It's gonna be Take the Wood, Take the Bad versus Nurgle Burgle Boys tonight. If Take the Wood, Take the Bad does not win tonight, they are eliminated. They must beat the Nurgle Burgle Boys tonight in order to have a shot at the semifinals. If they do win, they eliminate Tainted Cocktails tonight. And the reason for that is Take the Wood, Take the Bad is going to face off against Jingles all the way next week. No matter how that game works out, Tainted Cocktails will not be able to advance to the semifinals if Take the Wood, Take the Bad wins tonight. Somebody's getting eliminated tonight. Over in Division B, Tracksuit Mafia in the top slot. They have secured their place in the Dungeon Bowl. Genus Chaos eliminated from this competition. Petting Zoo players eliminated from this competition. That leaves it down to Pity the Ghoul, Bonsai Legends, and Nehide and Nuffle. Ooh, Nehide and Nuffle can still make it conceivably, but they'd have to win their match in week five, and they've got to win by a margin of at least three. <laughs> so <laughs> it could certainly happen. <laughs> Bonsai Legends, on the other hand, uh, they've got to win and they've got to hope Pity the Ghoul loses. So uh, Pity the Ghoul will be facing Trek to Mafia next week. Uh, but man, these are all of these games are going to be exciting to watch. <laughs> I mean, they are, it's coming down to the wire here uh, in, in week five. But we got one more week four game to get through. So let's talk about it. First up is Take the Wood, Take the Bad. They're coming in at a TV of 1,300. You might say, weren't they up around 15? They, they sure were. <laughs> they sure were. <laughs> There's the roster right now. They're coming in with a nine-man roster. They're gonna have to pick up two journeymen tonight. They don't have enough in the treasury to pick up a lineman. Uh, Wood Elf lineman costs 70K. The two war dancers are the star of the show right here. They have Fatica, the level four war dancer, and Rith Kadath, the level three war dancer. Uh, war dancers come with block, dodge, and leap. That is already ridiculously strong. Each has strip ball. Each has a plus one strength. Also ridiculous. Statica also has Dauntless, which uh, if you listen to the podcast, you'll realize that's that's effectively just TV being wasted. There's a reason for that. Go check out week two episode <laughs> to figure out why that happened. <laughs> Din Dior in the lineman, he's injured, but he'll be on the starting roster tonight. He has uh, wrestle. There are two more positionals on this team. This team started the season with just two position, oh, just one positional, and that was the two war dancers. They picked up a thrower, they picked up a catcher. The thrower, of course, has the pass skill. The catcher, uh, forget everything else, forget dodge, look at sprint here. You wanna know, we have felt inspired by Doug the Minotaur. <laughs> Doug the Minotaur, the Dark Elf team. They are our brethren. They have tried a one-turn TD a couple of times. You know what? Sprint gives a catcher. <laughs> 11 spaces of movement. There's only 13 from the line of scrimmage you need. That means two pushes can do a one turn TD. If we're given the opportunity, let's try it. Let's go. <laughs> let's see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> two linemen with the wrestle skill as well. The kicker is injured. So take the wood, take the bad. Will not be able to leverage that kicker tonight. Not that it matters. <laughs> they never put him in the right spot. <laughs> one cheerleader, three TROs, one apothecary, six. Fan Factor and one coach assistant that will be up against the Nurgle Burgle Boys tonight. They come in at a TV of 1,000. 
they'll have an 11 man roster. That means they're getting, uh, including the journeyman, 420,000 gold in inducement cast tonight. That's really going to hurt. Uh, take the wood, take the bad. They, their, their roster is really injured right now. And the Nurgle Burgle boys, uh, I don't think Nurgle is a really good team, but they're not, they're not terrible. Like we're not talking ogres, right? They're, they're decent. Um, there's just better teams, I, better races, I think. The problem for Take the Wood, Take the Bad is that every team in Division A, out of every team in Division A, this is the Nurgle Burgle Boys best matchup. This is the one that they have the biggest chance of winning. They're up against a fragile team. They are a bashy team and they're up against a team that likes to throw a lot. They've got that disturbing presence with the Nurgle Warriors. Uh, they can uh, put a damper on that passing game. So they have a really, they, they have a, a good shot at winning tonight. They have Beast of Nurgle, Sarah, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker herself. That's the big gal. Two Pestigores. These are the key players to watch out for. One has Tackle. That's going to negate the dodge skill. Uh, both have Horns. The Nurgle Warriors. These are the strength four players. These are basically Chaos Warriors. Uh, they have Disturbing Presence. That means that they have an area of effect of three spaces. If anybody tries to pass or catch or intercept within those three spaces, it's a minus one. So uh, I shouldn't say anyone, anybody on the opposing team. So it's a minus one. Uh, they do stack as well. I can't imagine Nick Satan's gonna stack them tonight. He's gonna wanna spread them out to shut down that passing game. Uh, Rotters fill out the roster, three TRRs, one fan factor. How do the teams play tonight? I think uh, the Nurgle Burgle boys, they absolutely are gonna wanna leverage this disturbing presence. They're gonna, they're gonna wanna have these Nurgle warriors positioned where they need to be. That means they're going to want to have them free to move to ensure that the pass or the catch or perhaps both are going to have a negative one applied to it. The Beast of Nurgle has disturbing presence as well. Uh, that foul appearance, probably not going to be much of a, a concern or much of a use tonight. Again, they're up against a Wood Elf team. These Wood Elf, uh, this team really doesn't want to block too much. They will block, but they'll block to get away. Uh, taking a block is is better odds than dodging generally if you can get a two die block out of it but they're they're not going to go all aggressive we that might change with the word answers we'll see but disturbing presence probably not a big i'm sorry uh, foul appearance probably not a big deal uh he's got the rerolls he needs uh but take the wood take the bat has put the money into the cheerleaders and the uh the assistant coaches they have won a pop that's going to give them uh hopefully the advantage on the kickoff event table. We'll see if that works out for them. Take the wood, take the bad. What are they going to do? Well, they are down a bunch of players. They're going to get two journeymen. That's not too bad, but that's not great. They're probably going to have to do line duties. And if they're going to dodge away, it's going to have to be at the end of the turn. Uh, you don't want to risk spending that reroll on a journeyman, somebody with a loner skill. The war dancers will be put to good use tonight. Uh, they'll be doing a lot of work. They'll be taking blitzes. They'll be running down pitch. They'll be ball handlers. They'll be doing everything, breaking cages, you name it. The catcher and the thrower are also something to consider now. Typically, those roles have been replaced with a lineman in the past in this season. Now the actual dedicated positionals are there. Take the wood, take the bad has to 100% mark down the Pestigores. There's two to mark down, uh, not mark them down, but if they can take a block on these players and take them off the pitch, that's the way to go. If the Nurgle Burgle boys lose these Pestigores, their their game is, is hampered significantly simply because they just don't have the skills yet. Uh, they're TB1000, they only have a level two player. Everybody else is level one. Take the wood, take the bad just has to leverage their positionals, right? Uh, they, they're going to lose players. They're very, very fragile. Everybody's AV7. You can see there's a number of injuries, a number of players that are out this week. Uh, they, they've got to leverage the skills while they have them. That means being on defense first. That means uh, scoring when they can. That means shutting down the offense when they can. That means breaking the cage if and when they can. Uh, but more importantly, take the wood, take the bat has to be safe tonight. They have to hold the Nurgle Burgle boys to a blitz if they can at all possible. They need to make the Nurgle Burgle boys roll more dice than they roll themselves. If they can do that, they have a very good shot at coming out the victor tonight. 
but I'm nervous. <laughs> we'll see if it works out. <laughs> I mean, two strike four war dancers is pretty gross. <laughs> All right, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Nick Satan's ready to go, and if so, we'll get this final game of week four underway. All right, might be having some... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're ready to go. I had to remind uh, Nick Satan uh, that he is required to lose this game by law. By law, it's a little known rule in the league, but you have to lose to the Wood Elves. Uh, if you don't, you go to jail. You go to jail for a hundred years. It's a hundred years. Whoa, what is this? A hundred years. Two journeymen. Oof. I know. I know. Buy a Bloodweiser, babe. I'm good. We'll split it. So buy one, get one free. And you buy one, and I'll get one free. <laughs> I, think, I think we're all right. I think I'm all right. Let me know if you... <laughs> all right, good. You can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> there go, there go, boys are picking up a wizard for sure. We didn't talk about the inducements they could pick up. Uh, they had enough money to pick up uh, star players. I don't like too many of them. Uh, Lord Borak's okay, but he doesn't have enough money really for Lord Borak um, uh, to make to make him safe. I think Max is another player. He's cheap, but then you got to pick up the bribes for it. Uh, honestly, I think a wizard's probably probably the best deal. It looks like the Nurgle Burger boys agree, but we'll we'll see. He still has 70 seconds to decide. Clive says, oh, he bought a 90k player. What does that mean he bought? It means he bought a Nurgle warrior. So he's got up to three Nurgle warriors. Yeah, which I think was a good buy. Picking up a bribe so you can tell right there what he's, he's going to try to murder this team. And he's picking up an extra reroll. Net, thank you for the bits. <laughs> and that's uh, that's gonna be Anna Babe. Wow, he dipped into his treasury there. Uh, 
may as well, I guess. <laughs> he really wants to murder this team. Let's go. Let's go. Clever says, Ava, have you been listening to the chat? Murdering your team seems to be a popular goal. I, you know what? I agree. <laughs> Sunny day, or rather a, a fair weather day, hopefully. Can't really tell. Take the wood, take the bad. There they are. This is their last opportunity to make it to the Blood Bowl. If they don't win tonight, they're eliminated from the season. They'll still play week five, of course, but they need to win tonight to stay alive. Oh, the beautiful Sarah Jessica Parker on the Nurgle Burgle Boys. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Coin flip coming up. If take the win, take the bad wins a coin flop. Coin flop, coin flip. Or flop, we're gonna be on defense. And we're gonna be on offense because we didn't win the coin toss. Which is the right call. Which is the right call. Nurgle Burger Boys, four rerolls, one bribe, one babe, one wizard. They spent 30k out of their treasury to pick up that babe. See if it works out for them. See if it works out for them. Take the win, take the bad with just 11 players, two of which are journeymen. <laughs> SB Beaver says, for the people, let Nick murder your team. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, it has been a very bashy season. Lots of bashy teams this season. Uh, very interesting. All right. Take the woods. Going to set up on offense. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's put you here. Put you here. In fact, why don't we tie all of you up? Why don't we tie all of you up? Let's put you here. Nurgle Burgle Boys do not have a kicker. SP Beaver, thank you for the bits, although you're a traitor. <laughs> oh, you, you traitor. Let's go here. Not making, not making use of our guard player um, just yet. Go with this. I think this is good. I think this is good. Let's go. Let's go. Fair weather, let's go. Clive is cheering for the offense as well. Thank you for the bits. SB Beaver says, I cheered for the offense. It was called a traitor. Apologize, you're not a traitor. You're just kind of a traitor. There's the blitz. Middling kick by Nurgle Burgle Boys. SP Beaver lowered the GFI failure rate from 900% to 99%. It's gonna be a free movement by the Nurgle Burgle Boys for everybody who's not marked. So the four people on the line are gonna stay put. This is why we end up going center, by the way. We ended up going center line just in case we lost this kickoff event. Clive his ass if he can raise the GFI failure rate back up. No, you may not. The boys will be able to take a blitz here as well. Here it is. Two die blitz. Gets a pow. I'm gonna try to take this war dancer out before the game begins. Great stun to start the game. Well done. 
<laughs> SPV were raised the GFI failure rate to 900 to 9,999%. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's gonna foul this war dancer. I think this is a fine move indeed. This is why he picked up the bribe. He's gonna get two assists here. He's gonna call off the pitch. He's gonna spend the bribe. Oh, he might not. Let's see. No, he's gonna keep the bribe. One man player advantage now for take the win, take the bad. Here we go. Let's go. What an action-packed zero turn. Beautiful zero turn. Two eye blitz in the left wide zone. Get the knockdown here. E dot one two three four. Thank you for the bits. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's go here. Um, don't leave, Sarah Jessica Parker. She wants to tell you about the time she was in that movie. Also roped into a conversation. <laughs> That'll be our turn then. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> she just has so much she wants to say to you. She does. She's beautiful. She's she's got a she's got a lot of a lot of things to say. <laughs> Today, Black of the Line is going to be a push against the journeyman. I was running out of time. I didn't really want this guy here. I wanted him up here. But this is... Or this guy uh, up here. This is fine. This is fine. I'm <laughs> berserking Devis's <is> house seductive. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he's going to take another foul attempt on the War Dancer. Uh, really, if he can take out War Dancers, taking out just one is a huge, huge boon to this Nurgle team. You can see this, these red boxes. This is disturbing presence in action. Any, any pass, any catch or any interception within these boxes are going to be a minus one. Two die block for Sarah Des Jessica Parker is going to be another push. Nothing left to do but to blitz. Here it is. 
Oh, he's calculating. He's calculating the foul here. He's got one assist right now. He's gonna blitz the number nine lineman first. He's gonna get uh he's gonna get a knockdown here. Doesn't follow up. He's got the assist for the foul. Two assists for the foul. It's going to move one of those Pesagors up. Up pitch. Here it is. Another oh, call. The ref. The, ref. the refs are on point. That's a, that's a well-paid ref. He, he takes his job seriously. Well, I paid him last now, so he better start working correctly. <laughs> Turn two now. Two-man player advantage for take the wood, take the bad. Um, where do we want to be? Probably hang out here, right? Just kind of hang out here. Um, blitz him away? I don't know. Let's see. Let's hang out here. Let's, um... Sarah Jessica Barker with the strength of five is kind of tough to block away. Let's, um... Let's go ahead. And... Uh, we'll do that. Uh, let's go ahead and take this blitz. Yeah, let's take it this way. We'll take the blitz this way. Get the pal. Move him here. We'll follow up. We'll get a stun out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. We'll go here. Hey. Do we want to dodge him out first? Nope. Oh. We want to go. Will be our turn. Turn two now for the Nurgle Burgle Boys. We'll see if they try to apply some pressure on this side of the gate. Nope. I. I figured. <laughs> I figured. Nick Satan is the league champion. If you dot one, two, three, four, says so stop lying. You didn't pay him. That's true. He didn't pay him the first time. <laughs> two die blocks gonna get a push. He's gonna re-roll it here. He does. Gets the pal. Trying hard to take this war dancer off the pitch. It's breaking armor here. When he gets a stun, will we see another foul? It looks like we will. The Zerking Tempest says, I'm telling you, armor breaks is the way to go. Clive says, so this ref has good eyes, but a desire for cash. Of course, everybody has a desire for cash. <laughs> SP Beaver says, I feel like you should always be allowed to bribe for 50k from your treasury. I think you can. 
I, I think there's a change of that in BB 2020. I can't remember. Clifey says he's going to use his entire team on fouls. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. Keep calm and break something. That's uh, that's uh, that's a motto. <laughs> it's certainly a motto. <laughs> oh, Sarah Jessica Parker's really stupid. <laughs> She's gonna lose her tackle zones. That's a problem. We'll see if Nurgle Burgle boys are gonna compensate here. And indeed, they will. Got to shut down this hole that just opened up. <laughs> Berserk and Tempest, thank you. Yeah, Goblin Snotlings and Underworld have the ability to get bribes for 50k in 2020. Two marks with the Nurgle Warrior over on the left side of the pitch here. This is that disturbing presence that he's exerting here. You can see he's got the one down pitch here and one here. He's trying to ensure that these die rolls are going to be miserable. Turn three for Tick the Wood, Tick the Bad. Um, well, I mean, right? I mean, let's go ahead and take this blot, blots. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to start with this blitz. Um, let's take it from here. See if we even get it. We do. We're going to get the knockdown. We go here, and we will. Uh, we will actually follow up on this one. Good stun to take the wood, take the bed. Now, Disturbing Presence is still in play, even though he's prone. All right, let's, um, let's go ahead and hey! so this end of my mark is here. Let's go here. Let's go. Here. Let's go. Um, let's go here. Let's -a go, Marigold. Um, let's go. Let's go here. Without a turn, turn three back to the Nurgle Burgle boys. You want to you want to fireball four guys? <laughs> you want to fireball four guys? How's that looking? Very good, right? No. All right. It's the mark with Sarah Jessica Parker. She's no longer really stupid. She's she's back in this game. B.1234 says you look like you know what you're doing. That that is 
a fabrication. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Burgle Burgle Boys, considering their marks here. Taking the mark on Thatica, the level 4 War Dancer down pitch. Remember that War Dancers have Blodge. They have Block and Dodge. That means there's only one face on the die that'll knock them down. Going for the foul again on the number 2 War Dancer. He's got two assists here. See if he gets called up again. I believe in you, ref. Doesn't get called off, doesn't break armor. Going for the blitz on Thatica. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be a GFI Blitz if he were to take it. No, he's going to get in front. He's going to get in front of number two. Really trying to shut down the war dancer over in the right wide zone. Really wants to take him out. I think that's not not a bad tactic at all. Here's the blitz. Here's the blitz. It's a GFI blitz. Got the GFI double pals on Thatica. Wow. Nate plus will break armor. Can he do it? He cannot. Turn what? Uh, turn one. Turn four for take the wood, take the bad. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go this way. Let's go. Be show. Sure. I gotta check all my movement speeds. Watch this. Watch this. That's right. That's right. Probably could have gone a little wider with this, but man, I, I need to make decisions. Um, Let's go with... Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Uh, let's go ahead and mark... Well, no, let's go ahead and go... Here. Blitz this guy, two die blitz. We're gonna push. Dodge away. This guy will stand up. Um.
Sure. Go there. I think we're gonna leave that mark there. Call it a turn. There's the fireball! One! Two! Two stuns. It's all we got out of it. Fireball's off the pitch so now. Lucky. <laughs> so you can hear uh, Nick Satan there saying you're so lucky. So the reason we did this, we went with this uh, narrow cage here, was to try to go with the fireball. Because, uh, so he has, at odds, he'll take out half the players, right? So, um, we have enough people here and enough agility and enough people down pitch where I felt pretty confident that even if we lost the ball, we'd pick it back up and we'd be able to run this ball in for a touchdown. But now the fireball's off the table and nobody left the pitch. So that's pretty good for us. B.1234 says, Ava drinks? Uh, not really. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker's really stupid. Clavia says, I also saw you didn't put the war dancers in the cage. We were trying to go with the fireball. That's that is correct. Good, good eye. Clavia's a good eye. Oh, fireball. I get it. I get it. I get it. Clever, clever, clever. <laughs> SV Beaver says rude. <laughs> Very good eye, Clavis. GFI Blitz on the War Dancer. Here it is. Got through the GFI. Got the pal here. Getting the pals he needs on these war dancers. Can you take him off the pitch? Oh, he's gonna break armor. Gets a stun. Man, lots of stunned war dancers today. I'm slow a lot of times. <laughs> I'm slow most of the time. Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. R.I.P. Who? <laughs> Nurgle Burgle Boys are going to mark the war dancer on the front of this cage. Pulling players back to play some defense. This is what you do. This is what you do. That's it. Second quarter begins now. Second quarter begins for... Uh, who am I? <laughs> what team am I? <laughs> for the... Uh, for take the win, take the bad. All right. Let's... Uh, I'll probably take that Fen block. We'll see. Uh, where do I want to go? Probably down here. Probably down here. Um, I'll only take this. I'll only take this blitz. I get the pal. Thank you very much for the gift sub. I appreciate it. Uh, why don't we put you here? Let's put you here. Put you here. Well, let's put to you here. Let's put you here. What do you say, gents? What do you say we we go for A? 
Here we go. Going for the TD. There it is. One to zero. Take the win. Take the bat. Takes the lead. Thanks, man. You didn't want to try to pass it? No, I think I'm good. <laughs> the weird aura around. Have you felt it? I haven't. I don't know what you're It's disturbing. There's like a disturbing presence somewhere on the pitch. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, this is this is just everyday smells and feelings. I think it's neither everyday smells nor feelings. I mean, it depends on what your everyday is. <laughs> SP Beaver says, uh, uh, you should have stalled. Uh, maybe, maybe I should have stalled. Um, but, uh, but we're going to score. We're going to give, we're going to give, uh, uh, put you here. We're going to give, um, Sorry, I'm setting up my defense. We're going to give the Nurgle Burgle boys some time. <laughs> some time. Um, we're going to give them a full quarter here to try to score. Uh, this might be a little shallow. You know what? Normally I would spread even. I've talked about how I like to give up both sidelines and make my opponent decide. As often I think that makes them make mistakes. I might just give up one wide zone here and funnel them in this direction. Uh, let's see. Catcher can go here. Um, I think I'm okay with the passer being up there. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, let's go with that. Lots of Jesse Patches says the only disturbing presence is the foul appearance of those roided up war dancers. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> SP Viewer says I wanted more chances for fouls on the dancers. Yeah, when you're a fragile team, stalling is a is a very risky, risky play. You don't want to give your opponent more time to murder you, generally speaking. Not so trusty patches says I'm still amazed that you can announce and play at the same time. I don't think I can. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Clive says that's why I don't stall most of the time. My team is also very fragile. It is not, in fact, very fragile. <laughs> All right, we don't have a kicker. I love how they're choosing the war dancer to be the kicker. Let's um, let's go a little deep with it. Let's go a little deep. Let's see what happens. Here's the kick. Perfect defense. We get to set up in another legal defense. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's go here. Let's um let's see, I probably want to shuffle the war dancer around. Let's do this. We'll do that, I think. <laughs> oh, it's you a touchdown. Sarah Jessica Parker have a touchdown. Oh, Sarah, T Sarah Jessica Parker deserves a touchdown. <laughs> So it's going to be a touchback. He can put this ball in the hands of anyone. I have to. Unbelievable. <laughs> he puts it. <laughs> he puts the ball in the hands of Sarah Jessica Parker. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Four turns to make it happen. Two die block to start off. He's going to get a pal against the journeyman lineman. Number 10. Good knockdown. <laughs> oh, man. 
If you're unaware, Nick Satan is already qualified for the Blood Bowl. He's qualified with a Lizard team. Two die block. This is not going to work. He's going to have to get a push out of it. Clive, thank you for the bits. I, I can't actually hear it. I haven't turned down when I'm uh, <laughs> when I'm playing. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm sure it was beautiful. I'm sure it was a beautiful, eloquent poem about your love for elves. <laughs> Not so trusty patches cheering for the offense here. Go, go, beast touchdown. One of my favorite Power Ranger shows. Go, go, beast touchdown. Man, they just announced. <laughs> SP Beaver, thank you for the bits. Cheering for the defense wants to stop Sarah Jessica Parker. They just announced a Ryu, a Street Fighter Ryu Power Ranger toy. Not that I would know anything about that. I may or may not have just pre-ordered it. Oh, that is the only sax that needs to be played when Sarah Jessica Parker gracefully slithers around the pitch. But unfortunately, she's going to fail her really stupid role yet again. She doesn't know she what doesn't to do with the ball. She's, a, she's an... She's an actress. She doesn't know what to do with a ball. It's not in her contract. <laughs> That's right. If you want her to move with the ball, you need to put it in writing. I can't say I didn't give her every opportunity. You have given her every opportunity. Turn six, not so trusty patches says, oh my god, nerd. Yeah, I mean, we're playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> All right, let's kick this block. First. Well, that'll be that. <laughs> That's. You, you are disgusting looking and I refuse to block you. Maybe you take pity on me. That's what it is. No, you're just gross. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's see. Clear out the center. No. Spin the reroll here. Now that we spent the reroll, um, probably not dodging these guys. We're going to stand up. Um, who do I want to take this on? Who do I want to take this on? It's a Fend Blitz. Yeah, let's do this. Get a push. Well, let's stay put. Oh, I took it as a block. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Um, why don't we... Sarah Jessica Parker is a space away. Um, why don't we... Do that. I think that'll be our turn. All right, Nurgle Burgle Boys are up. Two die block at the line. So we had a positioning decision to make there. After we spent the reroll on the failed dodge, normally we dodge these players away, but I wanted to do this block first. 
And I decided I didn't want to chance the dodge away here. So we just stood him up first in case this one die failed. Good dodge to get a two die blitz on the thrower. It's going to be a push result. He spends the reroll, gets the pal. Well done. He's going to break armor. Can the thrower stay alive? He can. Gets a stun on the thrower. Sarah Jessica Parker, no longer stupid. GFI, GFI dodge. Trying to move this cage forward. We'll see. Two marks on the war dancer, the level four war dancer Thatica. Sarah Jessica Parker is going to cross the line of scrimmage into take the woods six yard line. Sets up the cage. Nurgle Warrior. Two GFIs to get a mark on the War Dancer. Trying to get this block here. No, it's going to mark the Journeyman Lineman instead. to fill in this corner of the cage here. All right, turn seven for take the wood, take the bad. Um, we'll stand you up. You can just sit there and eat a block or eat a block or two or three. Um, what are the rest of you doing? You are going to go here. Take a two die block on the left side. And we'll stay put. Uh, all right. And then we will. Back here, um, back here. Uh, let's move you oh, I don't want to take the block with the journeyman. Um, We'll go ahead and take the blitz instead of the block. Two die blitz, we'll get the pal. Push him here. Um, stay put because we want to reposition. Two, two, two. Um, let's put you. Right there. Go with that. Why don't we go with that? Turn seven now for the Nurgle Burgle boys. 
It's PB. I cannot believe it's almost half and there are still 11 elves. Leap to the back and block down SJP. Uh, I was honestly considering it. Like, I could... I could get a two die uphill on her, and all I need to do is. <laughs> I could leave her Jenkins, yeah. But I just need a push. Um, but I can't really convert it into a TD, I think, so I'm all right. He also filled in this gap here, which I, I wasn't going to go to the back of the cage to do it. Good block, two die blitz with horns. He uses the push instead of the both down result due to wrestle. On the both down, if he chose the both down result, we'd both go down, and uh, and there'd really be nothing he can. Uh, it wouldn't be a turnover. We'd both go down. There'd be no armor breaks. Sarah Jessica Parker going for the TD. So fast, <laughs> you'll never catch her. I'll never ever catch her. Miracle Burgle Boys rolling some dice. They have a re-roll. Two GFIs works out. Good dodge. Wow. Fail to dodge. Are they going to spend the re-roll? Probably. Yep. No, oh, and then the GFI. This needs the GFI. <laughs> Nurgle Burger Boys rolling some right. dice. You'll never take down Sarah Jessica Barker. It's true, I'll never take her down. I'll, I'll never get away with it. Two-die block, we'll get the pal, we'll push him here. Um, sure. Leverage Dauntless. Um. Nope. We're gonna get a push. We'll reroll. We got a knockdown here. Uh, we'll keep her in place. Yeah, we'll keep her in place. No oh, bullshit. <laughs> uh, and then we'll um, maybe mark him here, I think. Uh, 
Berserk and Tempest says, why do you need Dauntless with 24 assists? Yeah, we talked about that in the week two episode. The short answer is I don't. It was the order in which I got uh, I got my uh, my skills. Dauntless is pretty much just wasted TV for me at this point. Clemmy says, I don't think you could score now. I, I couldn't have scored last turn, so... <laughs> Oh, it, it, I have it set to automatic, Does because it, it doesn't matter. Two-die block on the ball carrier is going to get uh, a knockdown here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick up to a pass. It's a good pickup. Uh, I'll pick it up with you. It's gonna spend the final reroll here. Oh. Doesn't work out. Good effort, yeah, that's, though. <laughs> that's where, I, I'm surprised it got that far in the process. Woo! 1-0 at the half. Nurgle Burgle Boys are gonna be on offense here. Um, kick it out of yeah, bounds again, so I have an entire half yeah. to get her down the field. Yeah, that's it's unfortunate I don't have my kick. Well, I wouldn't use them anyway, but it's unfortunate I don't have my kicker. Uh, I think we're okay with this, honestly. Uh, we might shift these. Probably do that, but otherwise I think we're okay with this. One man player advantage now for take the wood, take the bad here in the second half. Um, yeah, I think we're okay with this. <laughs> SP Beaver says, do you know what to do with 11 elves in the second half? No, I don't really. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we care now. Uh, it can go shallow or deep. Um, we, we can take either one. We'll kick it. Dead center. It's going to be a middling kick. Second quarter begins for the Nurgle Burgle Boys. They've spent their uh, they've spent their wizard. They have four rerolls. They have a babe in case there's a knockout. We'll see if that'll come into play. Take would take the bad with three rerolls. Didn't he have two players call off the pitch? Am I missing something? Oh no, he saved one with a bribe. That's right. Sarah Jessica Parker block on the uh, on the journeyman lineman is going to be a push result. That's the center. Two die block on the left guard here is going to be a good knockdown. That's the number ten journeyman lineman. Advances the number uh, number 15 rotter forward. That's zero sugar. Another push on the line. It's all the blocks will be able to take. He still has a blitz. Now for the ball pickup. Three plus works out. These Pestigors are basically like... Uh, they're like... Better beast, uh, I guess. Better is subjective, but they're like they're like chaos beastmen. <laughs> but they have uh, they have Nurgle's rod, of course, and they regen. Hey. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. We uh we didn't hire any players. We hired a blacksmith. Is who we hired. You can see some of us. Fatica, 
just ignore it and don't wear the armor. Strictly better. Uh, I don't know if they have access to the same skills or not, though. Okay, um, well. All right. The two die blitz over here on the right side. I'm gonna pal. Push him here. Do I want to follow up? Yes. Boy. Um. Boy, I am. Um... Ha! Oh, do I want to take the block on her? Is the question. Um. Boy, boy, boy. Um. I really kind of want to. I really kind of want to. Um, hey. We'll see if the dodge works. If the dodge works, I will. Or rather, I won't. <laughs> if the dodge works, I definitely will. Do this. Um... I think we'll do that. Call that a turn. Turn 10 back to Nurgle Burgle Boys. Sarah Jessica Parker going after the thrower, perhaps. Gonna mark two players. The reason he gets the two player mark there is other than that strength of five, uh, the tentacles can try to keep them in place when they try to dodge away. Uh, we can mitigate that by taking a block against her. Two die blitz. Push result on the war dancer. Is he going to spend a reroll? He is. He gets the pal. Well done. <laughs> I guess he did. <laughs> thank you for the, uh, thank you for the bits. One assist on the foul on the war dancer if he wants to take it. over at center pitch. Looks like he's going to try to cage this ball up around the two-yard line. Around his own two-yard line, that is. Indeed he will. All right. <laughs> Going for the foul here. He, gets, he has one assist because the other player is marked. One assist on the foul. Get, get, get out of here. These are 
these are they're doing their job. They they love their job. This will be the last time they were seen alive. <laughs> Should have paid them more. They'll pay with blood. <laughs> All right, turn ten. Now, if we take the way, take the bad. We have a decision to make. Do we want to block Sarah Jessica Parker or blitz her? Um, because I would love to blitz this cage. I would love to blitz this cage. Um. But I'm not going to do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to blitz Sarah Jessica Parker. So let's go ahead and... Do two die blitz and Sarah Jessica Parker. We're going to get the pal. We're going to... Oh, this is rude. I'm going to go here. I'm going to stay put. And then we will go... I don't like how far up they are, but I think that'll be it. Turn 11 now for the Nurgle Burgle Boys. Just gonna try to set up for a surf here. Here's the Blitz. It's the Pal. armor gets a stun great stun that's gonna be a almost certainly a turn of Fowlin. <laughs> all blocks taken now Sarah so Jessica Parker is gonna stand up and she's gonna move forward Mark taking a number three Dindy Urn. That's the injured Dindy Urn with two broken ankles. Cage is going to cross the line of scrimmage and move across to take the wood, take the bads, two yard line. Yeah, he's, he's being careful of this leap blitz. I mean, why wouldn't I do it again? Why wouldn't I do it again? Hey! Why wouldn't I do it again? Why wouldn't I do it again? It's a song I just made up. Um, let's do this. Hey! Got a stun here. 
So why don't we move you? You're gonna go here. You can go here. You can go here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Um, Did I blitz on Sarah Jessica Parker? We're gonna spend a reroll on her foul appearance. Get a push. Stay put. Um, you can go there. And then you are going to go probably here, probably here. You're going to go here. All right, we're giving up the sideline. We'll see if he wants to take it. Turn 12, back to the Nurgle Burgle Boys. Looks like he is. Looks like he's going to try to take this sideline. All right, here we go. Zerking Tempest says, all these stuns, what's going on? Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. Just do it. <laughs> SP Beaver says, has it been a failed block yet? Uh, I don't think so, no. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Barker failed her role. She's really stupid. Lost her tackle zones. Here comes the foul on the. Is he going to do a no assist foul on the word answer? If he wants to foul this word answer, he's going to have to commit some players to it. And if he does that, we'll probably go after the ball carrier. All right, here we go. One assist on the foul. Doesn't get called off the pitch. <laughs> Gonna move a Nurgle Warrior back. Try to protect this ball. <laughs> well, um, first things first, let's shore this up. Go here, um, take the blitz on the Pestigore, we're giving a Pestigore, we'll take it, uh, we'll follow up, uh, actually maybe we won't follow up, uh, let's stay put, Broke armor, got a stun, alright, Garth Brooks is stunned, um, I think actually 
I'll just move you right back here. And now you... You are going to go... You are going to go here. I was going to mark, but uh, I think I'm okay with that. Fourth quarter begins. Nurgle Burger Boys, turn 13. Not so trusty patches as Ava's about to get a trophy for a no injury elf game. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker moves forward. It's going to mark the number five journeyman lineman. Well, I guess all journeymen are linemen. Blitz on that lineman trying to press forward. He's going to get the pal. We'll follow up here. Gets a stun. Good stun. All advances one square to the four yard line. It's going to get a mark on that war dancer in the backfield. Going to try to protect that corner of the cage. This guy, um... Do I want to try for the Surf? Probably not. He's probably better positioned here. Alright, let's think about this. <laughs> I mean, I think, I, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Um... I think I'm going to. All right, let's do this. Two die leap blitz. We're gonna get the knockdown. Um, boy, <laughs> uh, we're not gonna follow up. Here's the ball. Here's the ball. Um, now we're gonna go for the pickup. Uh, do we want to dodge? Sure. Hey. 
Oh, did I not get it in? Ah, fair enough. Turn 14 now for the Nurgle Burgle Boys. Oh, sorry, I haven't been talking. <laughs> it's stressful. <laughs> so that was a leap ball. Or leap ball. That was a uh, leap strip ball blitz by the War Dancer. War Dancers are known for doing that. Clive says that pass seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, I just wanted to see what the odds were. I didn't actually want to do the pass. <laughs> Double GFI blitz on the thrower. Can he make it happen? He does. Two GFIs work out. He's going to get the knockdown. Where's the ball scatter? Does the thrower stun the pitch? He's going to get his armor broken. He's going to get stunned. Great stun from Nurgle Burgle Boys. Hey. Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge the two GFIs to the pickup. And stand up in GFI. The Rotter. Or not the Rotter, the uh, Pestigore. And try to dodge out Garth Brooks on the right sideline. Two die blocks going to get the knockdown on Femice, the number six lineman. the dodge. Does he have a reroll? He does. He's going to spend his reroll here. They have the dodge again. All right. Well, why don't we um, why don't we take oh, that's a risky block. It's a risky block. Um, let's see. Let's Stand you up. One die skill blitz is not the bad. Not the bad. Not the bad. I want to hinge my life on it though. Um, let's go here. I block, we'll get the... Why is that not blinking? I have a block skill. All right, I'm gonna take it. All right, I was like, oh God, what's going on? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and move you here. Oh no, move you here. One die skilled block. This will be a good knockdown. Push you here. We'll follow up. Oh, it's a great stun for us. That's a great stun for us. Let's go ahead and move here. Good pickup. Uh, let's see, what do we got? You got a five? Um, we're fine with that. Let's uh, keep you there. Let's go ahead and take this one die. Because we have wrestle. Oh, you know what? We'll take that. That's all right. That frees him up to take the blitz, but we're okay with that.
So we took the one die there because of Wrestle that uh, effectively makes both down safe for us. We just wanted to get rid of his uh, get rid of his movement. If we would have knocked him down, he wouldn't have been able to take that Blitz. Otherwise, it was a dodge to a Blitz, but I think we're OK with this. Here we go. One die Blitz. He's going to get a push. He's going to reroll it. He is. It's another push. Push him back naturally. Follow up. Got a bunch of blocks left to take. He's got one on a catcher, one on a lineman, one on a journeyman. Okay. Sarah Jessica Parker. It's going to be a dodge push against the catcher. Pushes into another block, uh, if he can get it. Yeah, he can get it, because it's a strength two. Two die block. This is going to be a push result as well. He might take the both down, actually, if he just wants to wants to put the hurt on. We'll see. It looks like he's deciding. Deciding to go for the push instead. I block gets a pal on Arnis. I was going to call him Fairness. <laughs> Fairness. Breaks armor. Oh, the first KO. <laughs> Turn 15. <laughs> Should we use the Apothecary? No. <laughs> 10 v 10 on the pitch now. Narco Burgle Boys without a reroll here. They're going to try to dodge. Failed the dodge. And Garth Brooks is KO'd. <laughs> and now it's a one-man player advantage. Back to the table. Take the bat. Good game, man. GG's. Nurgle Burgle Boys are not going to be able to score. Uh, nobody did can everything get... I could to take out a war dancer. You did. Nobody can claim that you didn't. Everybody else is marked except here. Why don't we blitz you? We'll blitz you. And we'll get the knockdown. Um, we'll put you here. Stay put. Get on pitch. And we'll move you down, pitch. And we'll move you... ...over here. We'll move you down, pitch. Who's left? Catcher? Yeah, let's get the catcher down, pitch. <laughs> I rerolled the tentacles and it didn't work. <laughs> he just wanted an autograph. Hey, you got your cheap lineman out of there.
Yeah, that's the guy I wanted out of there. Yeah. We'll end it like that. We'll give him the block. You know what? We'll just give him the block. <laughs> we'll give him the block to save the thrower. Triple dice on the catcher. This isn't going to work unless he takes the both down result. He has a reroll left. Catcher's going to dodge away. Blitz is still on the table, though. Oh, boy. Clappy says, why are all the elves running away? It's time for fouls. <laughs> <laughs> fail the GFI, because you always fail the GFIs. There's that three die block again oh, on the catcher, on. again with a push. It's gonna get another block on this catcher. And Clive says, if you fail, you get sent to safety. That's true. <laughs> Berserk and Tempest says, this is why I hate all elves. <laughs> That's it. Turn 16. This will be it. Uh, we're just going to walk this ball in to make it a 2-0 ball game. Yeah. The game. Take a look. Take that. It's going to win 2-0. to zero. Good game, man. That was I, don't it, I don't know if it puts you in contention. It does. I had I had to win tonight, and then now I have, I have to beat Jingles all the way in week five. How many touchdowns do you need? I just need to win. Oh, okay. Holy moly. Who knows? I might be seeing you in the Blood Bowl. We'll see. Well, you won't be seeing the Nurgles. That's very true. I'll be seeing a reptile dysfunction. Uh, I might not be I might not be seeing you alive either. I might have like four people left after I'm up against the Orc team. <laughs> My lizard team is itching to get back into action. Yeah, I'm not uh, not looking forward to that. I mean, I'm looking forward to it so long as I don't have to play them. <laughs> oh, what pitiful SVP. 2-0, take the win, take the bad, takes this right, game. Man. Well, I'm going. I'll let you do your finish thing, and I uh, will talk to you later, man. All right, man. GG's. See you. That's it. That's the ball game. Uh, again, take the win, take the bad, wins this one. 2-0. to zero. Nurgle Burgle Boys are going to pick up 5 SPP from the MVP. Take the win, take the bad, are going to pick up uh, 11. Uh, ball possession pretty even for both teams in this game. Oh my gosh, that was that was nerve wracking. <laughs> uh, Berserking Tempest says, "Why was there two rotter linemen on both sides?" I think the game like puts the ones that were called off on the wrong side or something. I'm not sure. Oh boy, and Din Bjorn was the MVP. We don't want him to be the MVP. <laughs> He's injured. <laughs> oh boy, but that'll that'll do it, man. Oh, now I need to now I need to to step it down, <laughs> lower the heart rate. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the schedule before we leave. So that's it for week four. Week four is in the bag now with that game. Week five will start tomorrow. Uh, and there are the pairings. So you can see we were just, I was just talking about with Nick Satan. Take the win, take the bad. It's going to face off against Jingles all the way in week five. Whoever wins that game will advance to the semifinals. Take the win, take the bad's win tonight. Knocked out Tainted Cocktails from the contention, but they will be up against first place, a minor matter. It's Chaos versus Underworld. They could certainly put some hurt on. Uh, the final Division A game will be Wound Guardians at Nurgle Burgle Boys. And then in Division B, we have Bonsai Legends versus Petting Zoo Players. That is bound to be a good one. Nihide and Uffle at Genus Chaos. That will be the second game in Division B. And finally, it's going to be the top two teams. Tracksuit Mafia at Pity the Ghoul. All bound to be good games. It's the final week of regular season play coming up. Ah! What a season it has been. It's been so much fun to play against all these coaches with all their different play styles and all their different decisions and teams. And I, man, I just, I just love Blood Bowl. I genuinely love Blood Bowl with all my heart. One of my favorite games. Uh, but anyway, enough of that. <laughs> when the games get scheduled, you'll be able to check out the schedules right here on Twitch. You can also check out the schedules on our Twitter and Facebook accounts. And you can find the information for that right there on your screen. Play Blood Bowl, what a fun game this is. You've got you've got Sarah Jessica Parker in it. <laughs> you've got you've got uh, 
elves and, and minotaurs and, and goblins on pogo sticks, players with chainsaws, you can bribe the ref, you can hide a wizard in the stands and shoot a fireball on the pitch. It's so much fun. It is the game of fantasy football. You can play Blood Bowl 2 in its video game form, which is exactly like the tabletop form uh, via Steam. That's the way we play in the league. Or you can pick up Blood Bowl in its tabletop form at your friendly local game store. Whoo, man. Well, until week five, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and, uh, and just enjoy this game. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody.